Hello everyone, uh, welcome to CSE 895. I am Ranjit Prasad and today I will be reviewing my project DATIC, which is a project used for food ingredient detection and identification. So before I get into the project, I just want to emphasize why I chose the domain food. Food is one of the most fundamental and essential element for human beings. It is also very closely related to culture, tradition, etc., making it a very interesting and diverse uh, field of study. We are all striving towards personalized nutrition, diet plan that cater to our needs, spe specific need, and for various other reasons like for health, lifestyle, etc. So it becomes very important that we study the field and make it easier for everyone. Now, even though it is an exciting field of study, ingredient detection and subsequently personalization and so on is extremely hard due to various reasons, such as uh, there is no large scale annotated data set as of now available of different diverse classes of food that we have, which is available for training models. Ingredients in an image are usually complex and deformed. Tomato, for example, in a ketchup might be is completely different from tomato in like a salad or so. Various cooking actions, uh, the heat, all the things completely deforms and changes the shape of the image and ingredient and makes it difficult for us to detect. There are many ingredients that are not visible in the image but plays an important role like salt, oil, etc. So with the ever increasing popularity of deep learning came generative models. We have all seen the brilliance of generating models like stable diffusion, which produces photorealistic image from thin air. And uh, we have all been amazed by its accuracy. Uh, so why not then use these models to create a large enough data set for food image processing and subsequently use it for ingredient prediction, which is kind of the first step towards an array of possibilities. And if the stable diffusion is able to create a unique image with such high accuracy, it must be having some contextual knowledge as well. So why not use this for object detection than using tailored uh, specific object detection models, hence moving towards an all-in-one system. So this was the center idea of our project. Now, the project has four main paths creating a comprehensive data set second is retrain sort of models like uh, what we have taken is yolo v8 uh, which is uh, published in 2023 using the data set created just now for evaluation third detecting invisible ingredients and finally going for a zero short segmentation using diffusion models so let's go through this one by one so step one is data set creation. Stable diffusion is a text to image model. That is, it creates the image of the text or prompt given to it. To generate the prompt, we use recipe 1M data set, which is a comprehensive collection of high quality recipes containing titles, ingredients, cooking instructions, and recipe images for each entry. So we put a recipe with each of its ingredients to an open pre-trained transformer or OPT in short, which is an initiative by Facebook to provide a language model architecture for a efficient prompt generation. For example, if a recipe have 10 ingredients, we put recipe title and ingredient one, recipe title and ingredient two, etc., up to recipe title and ingredient 10, so that we are able to generate 10 unique inputs prompts for stable diffusion. So now that we have prompts for stable diffusion, we can input that into the stable diffusion model to create beautiful images like the one that you see in the picture. This is by far the largest diverse set of food images data set out there with over 18K ingredients and more than 500K images. So now image annotation have traditionally been done manually. This is painstakingly slow and requires high degree of manual annotation. 
Hence the reason for a lack of annotated data set on food. We try to mitigate that once we have an image ready, data set ready, we want to annotate all the visible ingredients in the image. This is done using DAM, which is another stable diffusion model. So this DAM creates heat maps and uh, which detects what are the prompts, what are the ingredients that are out in the image. So we have an annotated map data set ready. We have also created a hierarchical tree using ingredients from the recipe 1M data set. Why did we do this? For hierarchical classification, of course. What does that mean? Let's imagine we are having tuna in the image, but our model is not able to differentiate whether it's tuna or salmon. Thus, then we go one step above the tree, which is fish and detect this as fish. If it cannot detect that also, we can go one step above and classify it as a meat. Or uh, another example is red sauce pasta as just pasta and so on. So now we have the data set. We have to test how good our data set is. How do we do that? So we use the state of the art object detection model. Here we are using YOLO V8 which is released in 2023 for the job. Now, the real deal breaker is invisible ingredients. How do we detect ingredients like salt, for example, which are very important for any meal? We can't have anything without salt, but is invisible in the image. Thus, we make use of relative positional encoding. We use vision transformers with relative positional encoding to get the nearby object. So if you are devouring that pancake in the morning, it will tell us that there is a very good chance that there's sugar in it. Finally, everyone wants an all-in-one model, a model that does everything. That is what we strive for too. Unfortunately, in most vision tasks, we have specified model for specified things to do. To change some of it, we try to see if we can just use a diffusion model to directly do object detection than those fancy object detection model. This is done when by diffusing the image and while denoising, we try to get the object given as prompt. So rather than do, do taking a tailored object detection model, we just used a stable diffusion or a generative model to get the object detection. From here is some of the results from the uh, from the project and uh, which classified uh, visible ingredients, invisible ingredients, deformed ingredients, etc. In conclusion, my contribution to the project's is created a large scale diverse data set of more than 500k images and around 18k unique ingredients. Created a hierarchical tree of more than 18k unique ingredients. Uh, third is uh, try to detect invisible ingredients using vision transformers and related position encoding. And finally, used a uh, stable diffusion for a zero shot diffusion object detection model. Thank you and I hope you have a nice day. Thank you and I hope you have a nice day.